All right, I, the gentleman that uh, is going to be showing my work down in Las Vegas came by and picked up uh, the uh, two clays that he's going to take down, and he saw this one. He likes the piece a lot. And I'm going to explain what he told me while we were sitting here talking about it. And uh, I'll be right back. All right, he uh, said, you know, a prospector's fine, but people don't buy minor uh, sculptures of miners, no matter how much character there are and there is in their face. Uh, they just, uh, they want cowboys or they want Indians. And since this show down there is a cowboy show, because it's a rodeo, he suggested I make this into something different, or actually, I thought of making something different out of this guy. And uh, I'm going to change him from a prospector, which not hard to do, to a old, wizened, horse savvy bronc buster. A guy who would travel from ranch to ranch, who's an expert at uh, breaking horses. And uh, I'm going to change his hat. And uh, I'm not going to change his clothing. I like his clothing the way it is. But I'm going to put a scarf on him. It's going to be a, a, a low-hanging scarf because I want this showing and his neck showing. And uh, I will probably put a vest on him, open vest. I don't know. I'm working on the ideas right now. But right now, I'm going to start working on his hat, changing his hat to an old beat-up uh, cowboy hat. I was going to take the week off and just recharge my batteries. But I'm going to rethink that because... Uh, He's going uh, down to Nevada today, or t tomorrow, actually. That's why he wanted to pick up those clays today. But he's going to be back in about four or five days. And uh, for me to have this ready for him to take down to this show, I'm going to have to start working on it this week. And so that's what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to change his hat, like I said, and uh, we'll go from there. See what happens. All right. I'm going to increase the brim width and uh, add an extension onto what I've got now. I'm just uh, filling in on the inside of the brim. Okay, I'm gonna lay him back because I gotta work underneath the brim and I can't see it until I do lay him back.
Now where the hat folds in on itself or the brim, I've got to fill that in. I can't have a uh, blank space there. It's got to be filled in. I don't like filling it in. I'd like to have it a blank space, but they can't cast it that way. So I'm filling in these, the vacant hole that's made from the brim folding over on itself. It doesn't hurt anything. It's just fooling the eye that looks at it. That's all. I was worried that the uh, widening of the brim would cover his face and it doesn't really all that much. <clears throat> this side will be shaded more than I like, but this side will be exposed, which is good. So it's, I'm not unhappy about this. Now it's just a matter of putting texture in the hat and doing it in such a way that it complements the uh, hat itself. I'm using a large wire tool with some deep notches in the uh, wire. That give me an extra wide set of textures, which will work nicely for this uh, piece. I'm going to have to redo his crown of his hat. And I'll do that probably tomorrow. This ancient kitchen tool of a potato masher works really good for this type of thing that I'm doing right now. Now I'll build up the uh, top of the hat a little bit, but I just need to give me a base for me to work with. And that's what I'm doing right now. All right, that's the beginnings of uh, the Bronk, bu Bronk uh, Buster. All right, everybody. Good night, and I'll see you uh, manana. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.